<laughs> no, it's from SpongeBob. Open sesame! All of it all. I'm so tired of bringing some screen and just saw the screen. Don't go near the water, Mama. Oh, that's cool. Come back in, please. Vacuum cleaner ends for the siphon. Nice. That's smart. All right. Cool. So help me lift up the lid. Somebody. Oh, 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 oh. Someone staff. You're not qualified, Gabriel. You can't lift that up. It seems like a lot of. Oh boy. <laughs> The whole lot of dogs. Oh, crabby buddy. A secret formula. All right, guys, look at that. Wow. Can't see Jack Squat. Can't really see anything. Hey, it's too bubbly. Look with your eyes. Oh, no, what else? I'm going to look at my nose. Okay, so the two species of coral we have here are the yellower ones or the oranger ones. Those are mustard hill coral. Mustard hill? Mustard Hill. They look like little, um, little explosions hmm. when they grow up because they're like bumpy and they look like a cloud. It's uh, Horides astrioides, and then we have on this side. I'm not sure what the common name is, but it's Solanostrea bernoni. It's on coal coral. But they're both bouldering corals, so they're both those big bouldering corals that make up the reef that we were telling you guys about. At Lou, did you guys see some bright yellow coral? Like, like they'd be like uh, gray, Massive. patches of bright yellow, gray, little patches yeah. of bright yellow. That's this stuff. This stuff, I saw at Lou, but it's harder to, it's not as distinctive. I don't know if I could recall it. Why is it the water bubbling at the moment? Oh, I turned it off. Oh. But yeah, guys. So these are corals that um, we got all the way from Sarasota. This was a uh, long time in the making. So this is, this is actually pretty huge. Um, when these first came in, they had a whole crew uh, documenting the whole thing. Scouts are about to make history. What we're going to do here is we're going to grow these for about a week or two. And once they've sort of acclimated to their environment, I don't really know what the indicator of that will be, but Mike does. Um, they'll be ready for cutting. So we're going to take them under a diamond bandsaw, and we're going to cut them into those square centimeter pieces, right? And then we're going to start gluing them, gluing them on plugs and filling up the rest of the raceways with all the stuff that we have here. So you can see that a little goes a long way if you're cutting square centimeter pieces. You see those little holes? Yeah, those are joined together. Yeah, they're already yeah. starting to fuse over there. You can see a really good example of it right there. Oh, wow. Like yeah. cookies when you pull them out. And they have some bright edges on them. That's where they had to break them apart. Two of them have four. And then, actually, we're going to get elkhorn coral as well pretty soon. Oh, that's and cool. That's the giant orange ones you guys saw at Lou the first day. Yeah, this one. Cool. Yeah. So we have some uh, snails in here. Who remembers what the snails are for? They eat the algae. They do. Um, do you remember when we showed you guys these things last time? There's a bunch of algae on the bottom. These guys work fast. They, uh, they clean up that algae better than any microplastic making scrubby ever done. So, yeah. have any questions? So how, when do you think you'll be able to do the first outplants? Next year? Outplant? Next year? Wait, do we get to do it or does Moe have to do it? I'm not sure. They go back to Moe. But next summer. Oh, they'll go back yeah, to Mike said that they would go back to Moe and they would do it for now. Oh, were you talking about the Boy Scouts? The Boy Scouts thing? That? Uh, well, either. I was just okay. curious. No, I think these go back in a year to go to the outfit. As far as the Boy Scouts, that's going to be a whole other... They'd have to start a whole dive floater yeah. down here. But, uh, I mean, I have my scientific diver. Why don't they just let me do it? There you go. Yeah. I've actually done it before, but they wouldn't let me do it here because I did the Cayman Island, so you don't need the same level of certification. Cool. That's tough. Let me 
Yeah. Huh? That is impressive.